Good morning, Tube. Today is Saturday. Welcome back to another daily edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. I guess you're wondering what these three things right here are. What those three bags back there are, they are tamales. Tamales. Yes, guys. I'm that barber that sells tamales on Saturday. <laughs> Actually, what it is is my mom. My mom is a. Uh, uh, my mom has always been a super hustler, guys. Always her whole entire life, she's always somehow supplemented her income. Somehow or another, survived and and uh, fed us three boys, three three no men. Always took care of us. Always provided, even when she didn't have the means, you know. And that's what parents do, and that's what my mom did. So my mom, all her life's always been, uh, she's worked in different places, never great jobs, always like you know, minimum wage jobs and worked uh, swap meets. Swap meets has always been her main income. She's uh, always worked at swap meets, sold at swap meets, you know. Ever since I was a little kid, I can remember packing up the car and going to work at swap meets on Sundays. So that's just always been my mom's, my mom's thing, you know. So um, even to this day, guys, my mom's 73 years old and she's still at swap meet, you know. I take her every Sunday, I set her up. After I set her up, I uh, set up on her spot and from there I leave and I go to work at my shop. And we open from eight to one o'clock. At one o'clock I close up. Usually I try to get out of there by two and then go pick her up at the Swami, pack everything back up and bring it back home. And you know, my mom really doesn't need to do that. Cause she, you know what I mean? She doesn't need to be working these that day. I mean, she's, she could be retired already. Um, Financially, if she, you know, but I, that, that's my mom, only thing my mom has left, you know, that's the thing that keeps her going. So, who am I to take that away from her? So, all I could do is encourage it and, um, and help her out and, and be there for her and, uh, and be a good son. So, that's what I do. So, I go, I go every Sunday and I help her set up, break down. And, uh, usually one of my brothers shows up to help break down. Um, his lady helps when my mom working there during the day. And uh, my lady helps me in the morning to go set up in the morning. And uh, usually Raul goes with us in the morning to set up too. So it's not all by myself, but it's a it's an effort for the whole family. But you know that's what that's what we do for our family members. That's what we do for our mom. So uh, you know, so tomorrow Sunday, tomorrow what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I'm gonna videotape what it is exactly that I do and speed it up and show you guys. You know, it, it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I and you know seriously, I, I can't believe we only do it one day a week now. You know, I remember back in the day when my my mom and my dad they used to sell us swap meets five days a week. So, and it's a lot of work, guys. If I get tired on just one day, I can imagine doing five days of this. You know, and they did it for years and years and years. You know, so um, it, it, it's just you know paying homage to my parents for our parents for for what they've done for us. You know, that's why I always try to go up and beyond the the Call of Duty for my mom. You know, because. She never ever short time me or short time us with time or short time us with anything. So I, I always, I'm always gonna be there to help her. So, all right, guys, I'm headed to the shop right now. I established right now at 7:24. Uh, I have a 7:30 and a nine o'clock appointment. So uh, I'm pretty booked up for the morning. And then uh, from there, we're just gonna do all walk-ins, any walk-ins that comes through. So with that being said, guys. You guys have a blessed day. Have, you know, grind on. And if you guys need to wake right now, guys, I don't even know if you could call yourself a barber. It's Saturday morning at 7.30 in the morning. And if you're still asleep, how are you going to make money, dude? Seriously, how are you going to make money? Like, this is the early man's job. Early man's job. Remember that, guys. Remember that. Get up early. If you want to be successful as a barber, the first step is getting up early. Going to bed and getting up early, guys. Going to bed, getting up early. Keep your mind straight. Keep your mind sharp. All right, guys. I'm headed to the shop. I'll get back with you guys in a little while. Late. <laughs>
it for today uh, right now it is uh, it's almost seven o'clock uh, we ended up getting slam busy in the end uh, uh, we had six barbers going today so it was really really good day uh, we all stayed busy all throughout the day uh, um, so tomorrow tomorrow's Sunday tomorrow's another day tomorrow I'm gonna try to you know tomorrow I'm gonna videotape what, what I do at the swap meet to show you guys, like, well, just, just to give you a little idea of what I do in the morning when I help my mom out and set her up and how I break down and, and, and uh, finish off the day. But when I come here, I come here during the day, do some, do some haircuts from 8 to 1. We close at 1 o'clock on Sundays. Uh, we are open 7 days a week, guys, but on Sundays we're only open from 8 to 1. One of the main reasons why I'm only open to 1 is because I help my, my, my mom out. So, uh, help her out and swap me and set her up and break her down. So I got to close up here by one. So the ladies I usually stay here tool is two and then go down there, pick her up, pick up all the stuff, and then take her back home. And that's usually my Sunday. But uh, I've been doing it for years, just, just the way it is. Mom's still good. As long as mom is still good and she wants to be working, I'm going to let her work because, uh, you know, what I'm, who am I to tell her not to work and, and just sit at home and do nothing? You know? I mean, she, she needs to get out and do little things. And I, I think this little job, it just, you know, it helps her. It, it helps her keep going. And and that's all that matters, you know. As long as she's healthy and, and working and she's happy, what's well, a big deal? It's not that big of a deal anyway. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to show you guys what I do there. Uh, today, tamale sales went good. It sold everything. Everything got sold out. People love mom's tamales. I don't know why. She just, they're, mom, I know why. They're bomb. I'm not even lying. They're the best tamales around. She she she's been doing them for years and uh, the customers love them. So uh, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, today was like I said, extremely busy. Tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna go home. Nike will love. I, I actually had tickets to go to a concert with me and my girl. We're gonna go see Soldier, but you know it, it, I, I'm not really feeling it. I could feel something kind of here, so I, I I feel like I'm coming down on something. Yesterday I Nike woke up and woke up feeling a little bit better. But I still feel like like I got a little something. So instead of going out and drinking beers and having a good time tonight, I think I'm just gonna go home, night cool up, and relax and you know watch some movies with my babe or something. You know. So hey, you guys have a blessed night, and I'll catch you guys mañana.